Hey guys, Pengwave here. Guess what? They just announced more Pokemon stuff, so that basically means there goes the next two hours of my life. <laughs> I'm gonna try getting this up today as I'm uh, recording it, but holy crap, they announced a lot more than I ever thought they would. So, right here, I have a map up of the region, and as I'm, uh, looking more in depth into it i'm gonna throw up a bigger version because sadly if i even if i click on this like nothing happens i can't make it any bigger than this and this is the remote the uh, according to Serbi, the ridiculously high quality uh version but i can't make it any bigger sadly so i'll probably uh zoom in on it and then you guys can see it later but if we look uh over at this island over here this is the main island it's like most obvious like you can tell everything from like the island we saw that that is it then if you look over to the right immediately you have this much more volcanic uh island but also to the the, the left of that you can see this little like water pool that kind of look like tide pools like uh if you've ever seen that one picture and it not ah, wait what am i thinking of uh the, the, the dragon fall like the one where you met Zinnia and uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? And then over here you got the beach, which I believe they showcased in one of the videos I'll go exploring later. And then you've got this mountain over here, and I'm thinking this looks an awful lot like some place Volcanion could be, because it's fire and then water over there, and they're in the same place. And then right over to the next island, there's a giant crater, and Volcanion is known for smashing mountain ranges entirely as i brought up in my previous video uh, about well i think it was my first speculation video <laughs> but uh you can really see that uh, coming to fruition here there's a cracked mountain water and fire right next to each other then look to the right i didn't notice this at first until i was just looking at the ridiculously high quality version and that is an island over there it's very very small and if you look over here as well there's also islands, so I think these clouds might be hiding extra islands, and they might introduce soaring back into the game. Maybe they'll give you a different flying Pokemon than you can, uh, or maybe just flying in general will only be, like, soaring, which could be fantastic, and also really weird if they want to try animating us flying on Dodrio, because we'll finally get to know how he flies. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that, those islands. And then uh, down, you've got this real icy mountain, kind of like uh, Mount Cornet. Then you've got this uh, desert area down there that looks like a power plant. So more Volcanion connections, considering uh, where he, we last knew about him, kind of. Looks like that's probably a haunted mansion, an oasis down here. So that's all kind of part of the same area. Then you get over here, it's much more tropical. That looks like a uh, solar panels, and I believe in one of the uh, the videos it actually showed this crackdown house. So uh, I'll, I'll uh, throw up a pi either a picture of it here or look talk about it later. Then uh, we got this white building here. I don't really know what it is. Much more forest on this island, island, and then uh, rocks blocking you from escaping this little shallows part. And then uh, you've got over here. Whoa! I never noticed that. That that is a garden in there. That is a really big garden. And then you got this tower over here. It kind of looks like a pagoda. So is this taking Buddhist influences? And then here you've got the the port to go to the next city. Which there's the port there and there's the port there. And then you got a port over here. So swimming in this whole big area, I don't think is really going to be a thing. And looks like there's also little boats flying around everywhere. Flying, <laughs> a boat uh, going around. Yeah. And then. Uh, over here, you've got this kind of little battle coliseum area, is what I would call it. It kind of looks like, uh, you know that one ship that you always see, go, like, uh, concept arts of, uh, it's basically like an aircraft carrier, but it's got a dome over it, and that dome has, like, its own biome. I think that's kind of what this is, but it's more battle chateau and, like, uh, battle frontier kind of thing, battle resort, all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's going to be, this is, like, this main attraction there. And then if you get over to this island, I think that is literally the monolith that uh, Solgaleo and Lunala, which we now know the names of for, like, actual definitive answers for. <laughs> but we finally know they're the that is their name, and this looks like uh, where my mouse is right now, kind of where they were standing, and then that's the, the pillar behind them. And then looks like we have the Tree of Life over here that everyone thought that was going to be a major part of X and Y and turned out to be literally nothing important. 
Uh, then you've got this real weird black thing over here. And I feel like that might tie into the third legendary because it's dark. And so far we've got this like sun scorched area and then light coming down from the sky. That kind of be like the, the shadow part of the moon. But that's like complete darkness and it doesn't seem in place at all in the in the island. So I'm thinking that is probably third legendary's domain, if you will. And uh, down here, I don't really know what purpose it is. I just, uh, I remember pointing it out with like, there's different islands that aren't the main islands. And uh, if, if I can uh, pull up a map of Hawaii here, uh, Hawaii 5.0, perfect. Uh, images. Uh, I want a map, please. <sighs> okay, um, there we go. So, there's eight on that that's horrible. That's, that's worse. That's even worse. There we go. So we've got Hawaii, Maui, Malakai, Oahu, and Kaui. Uh, so, obviously... Oh, crap. Where, nope, nope. Oh, shit, I just deleted it. Uh, there we go. Found it. I'm, I'm not good at this whole recording on the fly thing. I just want to get this up as fast as possible. But, uh, so this kind of looks like Hawaii. Uh, and uh, if we look here, elevation... Uh, if I can find a map with elevation, there's definitely a really high um, mountain there, so that's uh, that's something. And then we get over to this one, and that would be Malachi. And does Malachi have an active volcano? Let's find out. So we go to Malachi volcano, and then blah 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 blah. Oh, Molokai, sorry. Uh, East Molokai volcano. Uh, something the uh, Wailau is. Blah, blah, blah. Extinct Shield Volcano. So I guess they're taking a few liberties with that because it's extinct at this point. But that also doesn't look like a shield volcano. So tons of uh, creative liberties there. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, that looks like what I originally thought uh, Super Training thing was going to be. Just old theories of mine before I was making videos. This island kind of seems separate from here. I just noticed that. But, uh... What was I talking about? <laughs> Aha! Now I remember! So, uh, we were talking about, that is probably, uh, Maui, right? Oahu, sorry. Maui's over here, Malakai. I feel like, uh, Malakai and Maui have been kind of merged into this. And you got, like, uh, Malakai and Maui over here, or the other way around. And, uh, and then we've got Oahu, the, which would be this one, which is where you start. It's also the capital. Although I don't know why, it looks like there's a bigger city over here than there is over here. So, I've, I I would, this has to be ha like Honolulu, right? Uh, yeah, Honolulu is, is on Oahu. Uh, Hilo, ah, that's what it is. Hilo, I was actually thinking about going to college at the University of Hawaii in Hilo. But, <laughs> but I guess that would be Hilo over there. And I, I've heard Hilo is like very naturist, which makes a lot of sense. So that definitely has to be uh, Hawaii. And then uh, over here, we've got the last island, which I'm going to just call it Kaui. Oh, and that's Nihau over there. I really pronounced that wrong because Nihau, but whatever. That that would have to be that because uh, if you uh, look over here, if I uh, make this uh, open image in new tab, there we go. So if I open it up over here, you've got Kaui when, and then uh, Kappa. Huh, interesting. Where Kappa should be, there's this little area and then the dark spot. So maybe that shows like, maybe that used to be a city and it got destroyed by one of the things. That would be cool, right? Ugh, hiccup. <laughs> and then down here you got Nihau and then uh, Nihau is there. Why did I still have it open? <laughs> uh, and then it's right there. So fits perfectly, although there is nothing in the center of all of this. It's just a specific ocean. Unless that might be uh, Lanai, maybe? That, that could possibly, or uh, Kahulao. Laui? Kahulaui? I don't know. I should really get my friend to help me uh, with these uh, pronunciations, and maybe I won't sound too bad. But, uh, so that's my uh, theories on the island. Now let's get to the video they showed us. Let me turn off my speakers. So, uh, we in, uh, in America only got one video, but Japan got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos. So let's check out this one. And, uh, it looks like it's just customization. Oh gosh, that's choppy, and now we can, uh... Now, see here. Uh, thank you for that, turning black as soon as I press, uh, stop. But, 
It looks over here, it looks like there's uh, tall grass, so people that were worried there wouldn't be any tall grass, there's tall grass. Also, now we can see what it looks like. Uh, people are saying you should have more than six Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're only getting six Pokemon. For anyone that ever thought that was possible, you're wrong. <laughs> Unless there's like a trainer extension, but that just doesn't make sense. But anyways, so we uh, we can see grass here, and I was kind of thinking maybe they're going more with like the JRPG, which Pokemon is a JRPG, and I was thinking maybe they're going off of that kind of route, and they're like, they'd just be everywhere you walk, you always have a chance of discovering something, unless you're in a safe zone. And uh, that's the end of this one, and uh, if we go back, uh, I already watched this one because I'm in love with it. Rotom, huh? Pokedex. What happens then? Rotom Pokedex! That is fantastic! I couldn't have asked for anything- Oh, whoa, whoa, I could have asked for something more when you showed me that. <laughs> uh, I already noticed this before I, uh, did it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, here we have the Pokemon uh, Zukon, which is like the Pokemon picture book, basically. And, first off, Rotom in there, and he was talking to us. Fantastic! I think that's a great idea. N down here, we also have 1% completion. They've caught two Pokemon. Now, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and do the math right now of how many Pokemon there are in the region. So we've found two Pokemon so far. We've caught two Pokemon. I'm gonna say the first one your starter and the second one is that wireframe Pokemon we don't know. Or it could be Rotom. We don't know because Odoha, uh, sorry, Oroda, uh, Zukan, that would be where you got started, and then, uh, Mede Mede's Zukan, uh, that is not even close, so if we, uh, look back at this map, which one could be Mede Mede, which Mele Mele is, uh, apparently, uh, it's, it's, what is it, uh, it's a dance, I believe, uh, where was I, over here, so, that, I think that's gonna be one of the, uh, names of the islands, maybe, believe, maybe the big one, I don't know, it could be uh, based off, like, the volcanic color of it. It might be the really big one, not the really big one, but, like, the, the bigger one here because uh, of its orangish color. And I feel like maybe if we get to this one, it'd be, like, whatever name it is, and then it'd probably have, like, this kind of coloration on it. And then uh, the this one would have that kind of coloration on it. So they're, uh, I really like what they're doing about splitting it up. But also, you have one, two, three, four... Five. I think the five, fifth one is probably going to be uh, National Dex. So, that's that. But, back to what I said. Let's do the math. So, we've got two at 1%. So, every 1% is two. So, if we want 100%, we do two times 100, which is 200 Pokemon, right? So, that means there are 200 achievable Pokemon to get in the game. So, how many of them are probably going to be new? I can't say for certain. But... I do remember there was one part of one video, if I can also, uh, come on, thanks for all that amazing stopping, stop, 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 there we go. So here we have, uh, the amazing, uh, interface for, uh, really? What, what are you doing? Stop! I never said to play. Whatever. <laughs> so here you've got, uh, Mokuro, which is, uh, Rowlet in English, and then you've got uh, his next two stages, and then go down to Litten, and then you see Litten, Evolution, Evolution. That is awesome. So, uh, oh dang, they stop at Poplio. Disappointing, nonetheless. So, uh, now we go back, and, uh, I'm just gonna cut to where I find what I need. Here we go, I found it. Here we have Professor Kukui. Obviously, we knew he was the professor. No one was gonna say Hollow was gonna be the professor. He seems more like the retired professor. So, here we have Kukui, and it says, that could be the reason this... Sorry. I should probably, uh, explain the thing he said before. It has a bunch of islands. But, that could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah! Which means... There could possibly be... 200 new Pokemon. I'm not gonna say that. But it says nothing full, but it's also noth nothing but rare Pokemon, but it also says chock full. So, I'm gonna say that double redundancy means he's probably exaggerating. So I'm gonna say probably around 140 to 160 new Pokemon in the game. Now, that's astonishing! <laughs> Considering we went from Kalos, which was like 79 if you count all of the, uh... Uh... Was it uh, 72 if you don't count Megas? That's just absurd. 
and now we're going to probably around 160. That is fantastic. So I am excited for this. So hands down, we are getting a very large region and everyone's saying it's really small. Probably had a small landmass, but it's got a crap ton of Pokemon. I'm assuming if they're bringing Soaring back, if we go back to the, the map over here, I'm assuming if they're bringing Soaring back, there's gonna be a crap ton of flying type Pokemon in here. And then if we're allowed to surf down here, we're gonna have a crap ton of like water type Pokemon here, rock, fire, grass, ground, there's gonna be crap tons of new Pokemon we can find here. Maybe the ghost type over here, other ground types down there, it's gonna be great the amount of Pokemon we're gonna be getting in this game. Now uh, next video I have to show you, this one wasn't very important so let's uh, go away from that. This is just the legendary Lunala, uh, that one's Solgaleo, Hao, which uh, we always thought his name was Hoku based on uh, what we saw from like the other trailers. So we have uh, Hao and then Arane, Hao. So he's like, yeah, I'm Hao. So he's very, very, t oh, come on, please pause. He's very uh, relaxed as you see, he's just stretching before a fight. And like the Japanese I've seen him using is very uh, casual. He's like, ni uh, naru uh, yone. So he's like very, very like informal. He's He's not like, this guy you've just met, he, like, I feel like he's really em emphasizing the fact that, like, Hawaiians have a laid-back culture, which is awesome. There he has six Pokemon. We're not getting more than six. And then, <laughs> he, uh, see, we have him joining Poplio. He throws it out, and video. I don't really like that these videos are short, but at least they're showing us. Then, uh, Lilia, I believe that's her name in English. Lilia, yeah. So, uh, very, mo see, she's formal. Like, much more formal, so I could assume that she is probably not from the Alola region just like you are. So that's something uh, interesting. Then, uh, huh, back here you have the uh, awesome uh, Strange Souvenir. I remember the name of it this time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she's like, uh, Choto Nigata Desuga. Yeah, she's like very, very formal here. So, uh, no, Masne. That's, she's, so, this is probably <clears throat> earlier in the game. She's uh, definitely going past. Uh, trying to be less formal with you as like you forge a friendship with her so that's cool and uh, her things already over so I'm calling it here she's not from the region how is he also has a darker skin color so I'm assuming he's probably a, like he's of Hawaiian descent which is pretty cool same with uh, uh, Kukui so that's awesome and then uh, if we go back to the American trailer here we have uh, Rotom getting all up in your face and then, uh, that's a Rotom in your Pokedex. Zert, nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods, okay? <laughs> I love him so much. Like, I, I can't even. And then, uh, blah, 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 next generation, complete one, blah. Don't tell me what else to watch. Gosh. And then, uh, available November 23rd. Sorry, I'm watching the UK version. Uh, Peggy 7. Cool. And then, uh, ah, Kukui's mysterious, uh, what's-her-face. Uh... Who is mysterious assistant? And then over here, we've got uh, Salamence being fainted. Also, if I uh, go back here, so uh, oh, I skipped past it. He's got a crap ability. I don't really care about it. It's just no it's nothing new we haven't seen before. There's Sun Steel Strike. Uh, if you want to like look at his types, you can look at them later. But they're showing Salamence, very powerful pseudo legendary Pokemon, completely obliterated one hit by uh, Solgaleo. Now, uh, let's see if we can probably get a little closer into that, uh, match right? Matchup? Uh, come on. So, Solgaleo level 50 compared to Salamence level 50. And, uh, here we have different thing, and he's just one-shotting one him. He's gonna have a massive physical attack, because that is- There is no way that that is a special attack, unless it's both special and physical. Which actually would be really cool. And then we have Lunala with uh, another crap ability we've already seen before. It's basically uh, multi-scale. Which is very weird considering how paper thin Lunala is. But I love how kind of still it's it. It's not like Zubat where it's just flapping everywhere at you. And uh, here we have it using uh, Moongeist Beam I believe it's called. Yeah, Moongeist Beam. And uh, one-shotting Gengar as well. It's super effective on a ghost type. So... I'm gonna say uh, a ghost poison because Gengar's get a ghost poison, right? Uh, Gen, if I can spell, please, <laughs> Gengar. Uh, 
we go here, Bulbapedia. Um, ghost Poison, yeah, so that is probably a ghost type. So Moonbeast Gaim, uh, it, Moon Geist Beam <laughs> is a uh, is a pretty cool... <clears throat> Where was I? What have I done? What, okay, there we go. Uh, here we have the Rotom video I just showed you, and then uh, here we have Rotom interacting with you, and you see this little screen down on there? That is awesome. If, uh, and if I uh, go over to uh, the, the thing here, here we have a in-depth picture of what it looks like. Come on. Am I not allowed to see that in bigger resolution? Whatever. This looks so much like a really nice map. And there's a lot you can see here. So I'm saying I'm thinking this is a lot like your uh, Dex Nav, except it's much easier to switch between Pokemon. Because I remember if you uh. If, like, a Pokemon ran out of nowhere, and you're like, crap, it just, uh, now I have to, like, do all this crap trying to get my old Pokemon back and then finding the chain again. I think this is just, like, press left button, press light, right button, it'll show you where that Pokemon could be located. So it might, it looks like they might have, like, a patch-specific Pokemon, kind of like Feebas, which, as we all know, is not fun to catch. But I feel like they might have done a better job here. I don't know what that one means down there, uh, down here. It might be the route number, but I don't know why there'd be an X next to it. Then, uh, maybe, uh, this X allows you to switch to look at a different route instead of having to go into your map or, uh, your Pokedex. Because he, like, this Rotom Pokedex is your Pokedex. So I feel like it also be your town map as like uh, in that picture I, I, uh, I uh, had somewhere. He's pointing towards that route. And here you have uh, the route sign. We finally get to see it in good color. It's a hexagon, which I believe is not at all like Hawaii. Uh, so Hawaii one, I believe uh, that's like basically their interstate one, right? Oh, sorry, it's H1, sorry. H1, so if I go to uh, H1, right? Uh, not a car, Hawaii, gosh, there we go, okay, so their interstate signs look exactly like American ones, so I guess they're going uh, for more of an international kind of feel on that, I wasn't, no, I wasn't there, I was over, no, I wasn't, <laughs> uh, here, there we go, so he's kind of pointing to that sign, so, uh, I don't know what the little triangle is, but it definitely looks really nice, but here we have Rotom, and he's actually being helpful for once, that is a first, for any row time I have ever seen. <laughs> so, uh, that's awesome. And then it uh, kind of shows you real-time location of where your player is. Fantastic. But I don't know why there's a little red arrow as well as your person and then another arrow. So maybe... Is that something following you? Possibly? I doubt it. It might be uh, a location thing to help you find stuff. And then why minus? I don't know. And then... Uh, also, they announced QR codes are going to be a thing. So if we uh, go over to a tab that I already closed, I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 There we go. Open image and new tab. Here we go. All right, so here we have uh, this kid. He also looks really adorable. He's probably Youngster Joey. And uh, looks like they might be doing giveaways of QR codes. But QR codes are apparently going to be a thing that we can do. And it's going to be awesome. And you can find anywhere from a Dunsparce, hopefully getting an evolution, maybe, huh, huh? Nintendo, please do it. <laughs> and, uh, looks like you can also get all the way up to a Superior, my baby, I love Superior. And then, uh, Metacham, uh, walking all hoodlum scrafty like with this little, uh, spray paint can over here. And then, uh, kid holding the new 3DS XL over there <laughs> with Flash, I doubt Flash. But uh, there's sparkles around that sur uh, superior, so maybe, uh, maybe shinies? Maybe uh, this could be a legitimate way of finding shinies? What if someone had a QR code, and when you used it, it, it added shiny Pokemon to your game? Like, it would always be shiny when you found it. That would really actually suck. Never mind. Don't do that, Game Freak. I know the game's already done, but don't do it, all right? <laughs> and... Uh, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to really comment upon on this, unless I forgot something, which I did. So, uh, let's just, uh, go over here. Oh, I just realized I'm still on my main account, sorry. If, uh, you see all the people I'm subscribed to and you know how much of a loser I am now. <laughs> I spend too much time on YouTube. Uh, if we go over here, and then, uh, we go here, right, uh, 
Kukui, and then we uh, we can see there is that house. Out Come on, please not. Huh. So here we have that little uh, house, and if we go over to the map, nope, that is not a map. I'm sorry, but that is not a map. So if we uh, go right over here, doesn't that kind of look like that? Kind of? This little house down here? I think it looks a lot similar. But uh, if there's anything else I mentioned and then forgot to re-bring up, sorry, I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible. I'm praying on getting this out before I go to Senior Award Nights to uh, help film it for uh, TV Club. <laughs> So uh, a little bit uh, compressed time schedule, finals are right around the corner. Anyway, uh, it's Penguin, signing out.